Okay, I'm going to do a Dutch baby with some ham and cheese. Uh, first of all, I'm going to add just about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil to my pan. I'm going to add some chopped ham, and then I'm going to uh, put that in my oven and preheat that while I'm doing my Dutch oven batter. Uh, uh, so I'm going to add three eggs to just a large glass here. Uh, have your eggs and your milk at room temperature. That will help. Uh, big time with the rise in the puff and the way the Dutch baby turns out you get that big poof up and everything else So make sure you're doing that. So I've got my three eggs. I'm going to add a half a cup of That is cornstarch salt and sugar here uh, the cornstarch will help crust that up. I'm going to add a, a Two-thirds cup of milk and then I'm just going to mix it with my stick blender here let this rest for about a half hour while I'm heating up the oven to 425 degrees with about a tablespoon of oil. Okay, I had my oven heated up to 425 degrees with my ham. Here is the, the batter that we just made. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and pour that in. Give it just a little bit of spreading out uh, with the ham. And then we're going to top it off with about oh, a quarter cup of cheese here and then we're just going to throw this back in the oven for about 25 minutes at 400 degrees okay everybody here we go this is the reason why we do these uh, Dutch babies nice and puffy uh, that is due to the uh, us uh, having everything at room temperature uh, so we're just going to slide this out on the cutting board uh, you you can do this with maple syrup and butter if you want. This is ham and cheese. You can add asparagus. Well, look how this is. Uh, you can serve it with a uh, little bit of salad. This is good for lunch. This is really super good for breakfast. Like, share, subscribe, and enjoy. Thank you so much.